According to eyewitnesses and police reports, a gang suspected to be members of al-Shabaab attacked an administration police post situated in Gerile location, Wajir South, nine kilometers from the Kenya-Somalia border. The men detonated explosives and opened fire with assorted weapons on those stationed there. In the process, the militiamen killed six people, among them three administration police officers manning the post. The Kenya police have denied al-Shabaab claims a seventh person died in the Wednesday night raid. In what seems to have been a planned attack, Northeastern Provincial Police boss Leo Nyongesa says the militants went ahead to kidnap the local district officer Jeffy Muley the district registrar of persons and a government driver. The group also stole an unknown number of guns and ammunition from the camp before driving off into Somalia using a government vehicle. Police and al-Shabaab sources say the attack occurred at around 7 p.m. last evening. However, the militants tampered with the police communication systems at Gerile, and it was not until 11 p.m. that police and rescue workers could respond to the incident. Survivors of the attack were reported as missing and are believed to have fled into areas surrounding the camp. Local authorities began an aerial and ground search this morning to locate the missing. The Kenyan military are reportedly pursuing the militants inside Somalia to rescue the three Kenyan hostages. The attack is the latest in a series targeting police officers and police camps near the border with Somalia since Kenya began an operation against al-Shabaab in October. Last month, two explosions near Dadaab killed two officers and wounded others. Catherine Omwando, KTN Prime.